Hi. How are you? I hope you are fine. Today I would like to tell you something about the interpretation of the music from Jacob van Eyck. As probably many of you know, there is three volumes, first, second, and then the third is somewhere on my dashboard and uh, my desk and uh, published about uh, 1644, 47, 48. It was a blind musician that was playing Jakob van Eyck, was paid for playing in the, in the garden in the cemetery of his town, I think it's Utrecht. Played, played a lot. Melody that he listened, he remembered. And then playing and playing again, of course, it was became very able to make small, interesting, complicated variation. And by chance, for us, with the help of someone that wrote and then, then played, so when I could check what happened, what it was written, we have three volumes. Mm -hmm volumes probably the original one and then now separated in three volumes with about 150 pieces in this period i am trying to complete the record to make uh, the complete recording of these pieces i still recorded many many years ago about i think half of these pieces <laughs> the most interesting or the most but now i will try number after number to full the list I like very much Van Eyck. Normally my pupils doesn't like too much Van Eyck. It's a pity because in my opinion Van Eyck is very interesting for like cleaning your technique, your way of playing. There is not so much ornament in Van Eyck. There is not uh, so much legatura, so much fraseggio. Of course you can do it, but the music is so well, well written, well thought. It was a great musician, and it ways of making variation for us is very interesting. We learn a lot. First, about the instrument in the in this uh, in your in his book, Van Eyck uh, speak about this instrument. Is a soprano descant recorder like this. It's one piece with seven holes here and one here but an instrument that probably has a strong voice and could be played outside in summer springtime winter fall because probably played also in winter and so you need an instrument very strong similar at this one is this this is a tenor also with seven holes this one in one piece and also this has a strong voice but what is interesting for Van Eyck you can play Van Eyck with each kind of instrument um, the baroque one of 440 450 the, the modern instrument in 440 you can play it with uh, traverse with flute. The only problem is that when I arrive at C and the flute normally the Baroque one and the Renaissance one arrive only at D. And uh, it is interesting, and this is the, the reason of this speech, because about the interpretation of Van Eyck, in my opinion, in my experience, there is not a lot to say. There is not a lot to change, to put in this music. This music performed by a computer, it's wonderful. I don't think that you have to play like a computer, but that what is uh, the, the element that is important are, in my opinion, a good sound with long sentences to be in tune, 
to make the rhythm correct so sometimes there is some rhythm a little more complicated to have a tonguing very regular so the normal tonguing and the doppel tonguing not and then to, to try not easy but important in my opinion to make the song and the first variation the second variation the third variation or division at the same speed and this sometimes is not easy because the last variation are so fast that if you make it at speed a normal speed the song will be without sense so you have to try to play a song without sense but variation at the same speed of course in the interpretation if you recognize in the song some parts when when a sentence finished and when um, when something starting new what is the repetition what is the change this will be important for the interpretation but also if you play this quantity of a note it works because it's very very well well uh, well done um, i think that for us is very interesting this is like a hit parade of the 17th century it was the melody the church song the popular song the love song the political song um, the dance more famous probably in this period i have told you that Michael was blind and in this moment there was no way for reading with braille or something else in music so it, it could just listen 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 they listen to music, the music enter in his memory, and then he remember it for, for all his life. Mm, Sometimes it uh, makes some piece that's clearly written by Banai, so not variation, like for example, prelude of four speed. So just before starting, he play a prelude. And then sometimes church music, etc. Uh, another thing concerning the instrument, you can play vanities for descant soprano, descant recorder soprano. You can play with a tenor, of course, but you can play also with an alto. You say, you are a soprano, and you play. You can play with a bass, you say, at your bass, you are a tenor, and you play. It works very, very well. Um, I will try to play some pieces just for sample. For example, Onzer Father in Emmerreich, fa our father that you are in the Himmel, I don't know the English name, in the Reign of the Cherry Kingdom. This is not easy, it's the piece number two is not so easy. If you check the variation, the variation has 16s. Probably this is a good speed. So this, this is the minima. So the song is. With a smaller instrument, you can make the sentence in one breath. I repeat. For example, what can I say about the interpretation of this sentence? Just to make with good tonguing, with the note that create a melody and not pu 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 pu, and then. When you play 
following the musical sense of the sentences, you will play good. The first model, there is a relationship between two or four for each note, four notes, it's a stronger, stronger relationship. If you play this one totally without remembering the melody, you can play quite good, but it will not have the sense. If you have to remember the sense of the text, another thing about Banach. There is a lot of mistake in the original text. In many, many ancient music there is a lot of mistake. There is a lot of mistake in the modern edition. So we have double mistake. Mistake of note, one note written instead of another. Mistake of uh, sharp and flat. This was a period of changing. It was going from the Renaissance to the Baroque, from the modality to the tonality. So not ever is clear if there is the seventh note sharp is we finish a part with a minor chord of a major chord. And the, the only way for solve the, the question is to play all one act, one under seven pieces, so we recognize the style of this man. Because eighty percent from the accident are correct, but twenty percent no. So you have to change. For example, here it was written as C natural. It could be, but I think, in my opinion, is in effect. If I check the model four, also this helps a lot to make a confrontation between model 2, model 3, variation 2, 3, 4, 5, the, the, the single bar. The bar 16 in variation 2 as C natural. The bar 15 in variation 3 are C sharp. The bar 15 in variation 4 has C sharp. So we will do C sharp also in the number 2 similar. There is a wonderful melody like Don Daphne that uh, I think that uh, Van Eyck put four time variation, um, two great group of variation and then a small one and then a duo with this melody. we have not to underline the note of the melody no but we have to remember the melody a lot of possibility but I think this is not the important there are possibilities but what is really important is a good quality of tonguing a good breath with long sentences um, a comprehension that you understand an understanding of the sense general sense there is a lot of church music Psalm 118 this psalm check please before the variation with 16 ta ta this is the minima Long sentence. 
modo 2 There is some accelerando, some rallentando, but this is typical when you have the sentences. You start da 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 For this reason, Van Eyck is very important because they need a technique very regular with double tonguing. Uh, with um. okay, I don't know if I have something else to tell. I suggest you to play a lot of the Van Eyck. It's not easy. It's not easy because it's not easy to recognize the sense of the melody. Sometimes the melody are a little mysterious. You have to repeat, repeat, and then you find the sense, the signification of the melody. And then you have to try to play the variation remembering the, the song. But uh, I think uh, it's, uh, it could be very, very helpful. There is many, many kind of music, national anthem, um, Italian dance, uh, Gastoldi. And in this melody, Van Eyck remembered the melody and the bass, people, people, people. So it's very um, a, a good book that I suggest you to, to play for all your life. Bye bye.